This is my parmesan tomato tart. So we're going to start the dough. The dough is very simple. Flour, unsalted butter, and parmesan. So now as you can see it's very soft. So it's very sticky also. So it's going to be very, very, very difficult to roll. Okay? So you want to leave the dough at least, I would say, a good hour in the fridge. Now I have here my uh, heirloom tomato and uh, I also peel the tomato, okay? Do little X, boiling water, ice water, peel it. Very easy. A little more frou-frou, but it's good. So I'm going to slice my tomato. So I want my tomato to be thick enough, you know? And I want the tomato to become a marmalade. And after you put a little bit on the paper towel, like, you know, you don't want the tomato to release a lot of water on the dough. It's going to release water for sure, but let's go try to have less water. Voila, my dough rests for one hour. It's hard, it's good, it's not soft. You cannot roll a dough if the dough is warm. It's a nightmare. As you can see the little lump of parmesan here. The parmesan is going to uh, uh, caramelize in the dough. That's what is magical about this dough. So you don't want it too thick, but not too thin also. Okay, I'm we'll try to get a nice round as possible. Squeeze a little bit. Try to put the maximum of tomato here. And put a little bit of salt. Be very light. Make sure you put salt everywhere. Ready to go, guys, in the oven. About 10. 12 minutes at 350. Voilà, parfait. Mm. So now I'm going to make a, a little basil and mint salad to put on top. I'm going to do a little bit of chiponade. You press your leaves like this, and after you just equal amount of basil, equal amount of mint. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil. We'll make a little bit of dipped flour de sel, black pepper, and after we're going to just put a little bit of basil and mint. So make sure before you serve the tart, make sure to let cool down the tart at least 10 minutes. This is my Parmesan tomato tart. <laughs>